Hi, I'm Mark Weitzel with New Relic. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour of the New Relic One catalog, show you a few of my favorite apps, and really demonstrate how the catalog makes it super easy for you to discover applications, install them into your instance, and manage them across your accounts. When we started New Relic One um, and the idea of programmability, we recognized that while there are a lot of really powerful um, views inside of New Relic, we have a lot of curated uh, overview pages, uh, an incredibly powerful dashboarding system. There are times when you wanna go beyond dashboards. There are times when as a developer, you have all of this data inside of the New Relic database and you wanna consume that in different ways. You might want to apply specific business logic to uh, that data. For example, uh, doing service level objectives. Uh, you might want to add a new visualization on top of that, like uh, geographic maps, as an example. So programmability allows you to consume data and use that in new views and applications in ways that really go beyond dashboards uh, that you get out of the box from New Relic. And in putting together programmability and building applications and uh, a programming model in the New Relic One platform, we give you some very, very powerful tools that help you construct that. We've got um, a command line interface that gets you started very quickly. We have example applications in GitHub, and uh, these applications are really just React components uh, that use our GraphQL API and NRQL, our query language, to pull data in. But because they're React components in the browser, you can do anything that a React application can do, including making remote calls to other systems, uh, to combine data uh, on the client. What we recognized is uh, the applications that we provide uh, in GitHub as open source are very powerful. They bring some immediate value to you uh, as you use those applications. And that immediate value, we wanted to make it very easy for you to find, discover, manage, and install those applications. You know, currently, uh, you have to do all of this from the command line, so we wanted to bring that experience into the product. Uh, and that's the uh, origin and motivation behind the New Relic catalog, which I'm gonna show you now. Inside of New Relic One, you'll see I've got a, a section called Your Applications. And this is where launchers that are applications that you write or have been built by New Relic because we're using the same tools that uh, to build uh, much of the product capability that you have access to as well. So inside I have what we call launchers and our new Relic One catalog is just another launcher that we have. So let's go into it and you'll see that we have a curated set of applications that are available to you. All of these are in open source. So if you see one that you like, like Agent Groundskeeper or the Deployment Analyzer, and you wanna make your own changes or customize that slightly, you can do that. You can just go to the repo, clone the application, make your changes and run it and deploy it and it will show up in your environment as well inside of New Relic. Let's take Cloud Optimize. Uh, Cloud Optimize is one of my favorite applications. It uses our New Relic infrastructure data to give you recommendations on right sizing your estate. Here, it's very simple for me now directly inside of New Relic to find Cloud Optimize as an application and manage access to that, adding it to the accounts that I'd like to have it present in and show up as a launcher. So here, I'll just take our Demotron account. So I'll add that and I'll update the access. And that's given all the users of that account, in this case, Demotron, access to that application. Let's go see where that is. So after adding it and returning to the home page, you can see I have Cloud Optimize. Now I can just simply click into it and I'm already using that application. It's that fast, it's that easy, it's that simple. Let's take a look at another one. I'll go back to the catalog. In this case, I might be troubleshooting and I wanna know if it's actually my problem or if something upstream has gone wrong. Status page is a great way for me to figure that out. It's a simple application that uh, pulls information from status page and displays it. So I can quickly determine, is this my problem? So I'm gonna to go to manage access. Again, I'll add this to Demotron. It's a very simple install back here. 
We'll go back to our home page. And now status page appears on the my, uh, your application section. I can click it and I can see that here are the systems that I'm interested in and I can click on one of these to see, oh, what's happening with Google Cloud? And this is just their public status page pulled in. So imagine if you're troubleshooting, it's a very simple way to get information. So that's a quick tour of the new Relic One catalog. I, I hope you find it super exciting uh, and take the time to explore the set of applications that are there. They, they really can serve as building blocks for your own innovation. Many of them came from hackathons that we did or out of working with customers just like you at, at engagements where we built these applications, realized the value that they had and made them available and open source because we want to deliver innovation into your hands quickly um, so that you can use that as a, as a way to imagine what's possible for your own instance of New Relic and your own applications. You can learn more at developernewrelic.com, how to get started building applications, learn about the technologies. You know, again, these are just React and GraphQL uh, APIs, React components with GraphQL, um, quick and easy to build. And I hope this has shared some interesting ideas with you. Thanks.